Uh, okay, let's get to the show. Before we go any further, uh, we have very important breaking vice presidential news from Ohio. Jim? My name is Joe Biden, and I love ice cream. My name is Stephen Colbert, and I love Joe Biden. <laughs> now, to be fair, I played that clip out of context. The full context is that's exactly what he said. <laughs> and I got to think at this point, he's just kind of phoning in his job for the last six months. Totally understandable. First, he was tasked with bringing democracy to Iraq. Then the president put him in charge of curing cancer. Now he's like, you know what? Screw it. I'm opening diplomatic relations with Hagen Dazs. <laughs> And, and, and if you think that Joe Biden is kidding, he's not. You all think I'm kidding, I'm not. He means it from the heart. Heart. That, that is from the heart, from his ice cream clogged heart. And I'm sorry, uh, sir, what were you saying? You all think I'm kidding, I'm not. I ate more ice cream than the three other people you'd like to be with uh, all at once. I'm not sure. What does that mean? <laughs> do you have brain freeze, sir? You got to slow down. But I do know one thing. God, I wish that man was running for president. <laughs> I wish that man. <laughs> you know who is running? Hillary Clinton. And uh, the road's a little rough for her right now. She needs all the help she can get. Just not the kind of help she's getting from former Pennsylvania Governor Ed Rendell. Who tried to help her by attacking her opponent, Trump, saying, Trump's comments like, you can't be a 10 if you're flat chested, will come back to haunt him. Then Rendell helpfully added, There are probably more ugly women in America than attractive women. People take that stuff personally. Yes, and I have a feeling a lot of women are about to take that really personally. I think Rendell is way out of line. America is filled with beautiful women, especially, especially after President Trump launches Operation Uggos to Gitmo. <laughs> SEAL Team Six, SEAL Team, SEAL Team Six. Oh, give me SEAL Team Ten. <laughs> then, you know. Summer vacation is starting. You guys are traveling this summer? You guys going anyplace uh, fun? You guys you going anyplace fun? I'm not going no. anywhere. No? I'm not going. You guys, going. anybody going to a national park this summer? Anybody? Just a couple? I'm sorry your kids had to find out that way. <laughs> I promise, kids, rocks look just as fun as roller coasters. But there could be changes coming to America's parks because the National Park Service is so desperate for cash that they have just announced for the, for the first time they're going to solicit corporate sponsorship. Pretty soon, those sequoias could be brought to you by Viagra. <laughs> Remember, if your redwood lasts more than 2,000 years, <laughs> call your lumberjack. No idea. No idea. I have no idea what this motion means in this metaphor. In this metaphor, this doesn't look that pleasant. <laughs> now, the Park Service promises that corporate naming rights will be limited, but that's what they always say. And we here at the Late Show have uncovered this PSA from our good friend Smoldery the Bear. Remember to keep your campsite clean and your teeth by brushing with Crest Pro Health Advanced Toothpaste. If you see litter in the forest, do the responsible thing and stay at a La Quinta Inn where free Wi-Fi comes standard. And be sure to stop, drop, and roll into your local Mitsubishi dealer for a great deal on a 2017 Mitsubishi Outlander. Mm. Eat fresh. Mm. Thank you, Smoldery. 